2023 Toyota GR Super 3.0. When the fifth generation Toyota Super debuted, it came with a standard automatic transmission, and it wasn't clear at the time that a manual option would ever make an appearance. But now, a few years later, the manual Super is here, and it's good, but it doesn't fundamentally change anything. That may not sound like great news to some of you, but trust me, that's how it should be. The Super's new 6-speed manual transmission is a labor of love between Toyota's engineers and the gearbox wizards at ZF. A larger diameter clutch provides a greater mating surface between the engine and the driven wheels. Allowing this transmission to handle the 3.0-liter turbocharged inline SIXS 382 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque with ease. With rear-wheel drive, the manual Super will reach 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, just a few tenths off the automatic model. Toyota even moved some of the Super's controls away from the shifter for better ergonomics. This combination of new and existing ZF parts looks good on paper, and it feels good in practice. The clutch pedal has a predictable bike point, although it's a bit light. The lever feels fantastic, satisfyingly notching into each gate. Forgive the BMW comparison, but it reminds me of a shorter version of the E46 M3's Gitrag 6 speed, one of my favorite manuals. The reverse is easy to access, and I also like how Toyota ever so slightly moved the remaining vehicle controls away from the shift lever for better ergonomics. It's like this transmission was always meant to be here. While the 2023 Super's manual will likely be the most prominent talking point, Toyota also made a host of tweaks to its drivetrain and suspension. The adaptive suspension shock absorbers have been retuned for better ride comfort and body roll management. And Toyota also tweaked the power steering and added a standard sport differential for all 3.0 liter variants. Changes to the traction control system should boost grip when starting off, and a new final drive ratio, 3.46 versus the automatic's 3.15 keeps the engine from feeling lazy on the low end. Toyota set up a test track at Utah Motorsports Campus to evaluate how all these changes come together. I've always found the 3.0 liter Super to be an exciting short wheelbase sports car, and that general undercurrent remains the same. It pulls strongly in every gear, and the inline six sounds fabulous in the process. The pedals are set up nicely, so I can ease off the brake and roll onto the throttle, while the differential shuffles torque left and right, preventing wheel spin and keeping the car balanced. There is no unnecessary pitching or rolling. The Super's body feels just the right amount stiff as I chase turning points and start staring down the next corner. The only real bummer is that I'm not doing much shifting on this track. With only six forward gears instead of the automatic's eight, this means drivers will spend more time in each gear in my case. Despite all these new additions and adjustments, the 2023 Toyota GR Super 3.0 remains the same fundamentally. It's a small sports car with plenty of power that is capable on both back roads and proper circuits. The new six-speed manual transmission offers a little extra driver engagement, but it doesn't make this car objectively better or worse, which is great in my opinion, because no matter how you spec the Supra, you're in for a good time.